Welcome to this DIY video on how to make a low budget psychological thriller slash horror. If you haven't seen the short film in question, see the link in the description below. I've always wanted to say that along with make sure you leave a comment, smash that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. There I've officially sold my soul to YouTube. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about psychological thrillers and horror. There's a fine line between the two, and often a film gets classified as both since so much of the two genres overlap. Since my short film has elements of both, I won't separate the two. Psychological thrillers and horror tend to delve into the damaged mind of the character and have their fears, anxiety, or trauma manifest visually, often with hallucinations or dreamlike sequences. That's why these two genres are also so closely linked to surrealism because of that dream or nightmarish-like quality. In a dream or nightmare, no matter what you see and how strange it is, you tend to accept what it is and what's happening and move on. The viewer and the character may be confused and the viewer can't always rely on the character's reaction to the situation to know if this is reality or not because the character might be an unreliable narrator. That's why psychological horrors and thrillers often use confusing and broken imagery to reflect a warped state of mind like The Shining or The Lighthouse. Ominous music is useful as well for atmosphere and it can tell us of the broken mind or of the impending doom. The horror side of things will often crank up the terrifying and confusing imagery, the tension and the blood, whereas the thriller will most of the time keep things more subtle. At the end of the day, both of them deal heavily with the pain being inflicted on the psyche of an individual. Anyway, enough talk. Here's how you make a psychological horror or a thriller. Get some actors. In this case, I only had my friend Noah and myself because my other friend Tyler bailed out on me. Sadness. Anyway, next, if you want to make this a low budget feature, you gotta make a Robert Rodriguez list. In other words, a list of what you have, what you can borrow, or what you can buy for dirt cheap and write your script around that. Dollarama is your friend during Halloween. Fake blood, mask, and fake weapons are great props. If you want to make a slasher flick for your next project, you already got the stuff to do it. First off, before you do anything, it's a good idea to have a shot list so you're not wasting anybody's time. Moving on, you need a terrifying manifestation. In this case, I poured a lot of fake blood onto the Dollarama mask. Next is the lighting. My method was pretty barbaric, but I got a softer light out of it to have a blue tint. Plus, Noah's TV lights also offered some help. For music, make it a droning electronic tune, something as unsettling as the mind of your character. You can use a synth or whatever you have it available. I used my guitar and played around with a distortion knob and got this. Then I scratch the strings with my fingernail for this. And did this other scratching method for this. Now this is a short film so you can make it as pretentious as you want. The terrifying manifestation of the shovel man is actually the guilt of the murderer symbolizing blood doesn't always wash down the drain as easily as water and the shovel shows us some deeds don't remain buried there pretentiousness 101 now go make a psychological horror or thriller because it's basically the same thing almost